And this is going to be the lightest car possible. So we're going to bring so this anyways, up to today 20. we're going to be doing the exact opposite and building the lightest it's car 227 possible. pounds. And BMG and G are probably weigh something else because they think These the fixtures and a couple dirty other things. sons of bitches. Assholes. Honestly, they think they can come onto my turf of the most of anything or the least of it? Oh, come on, nah. So, to come back at them, I have got the ultimate pl They're using mud bodies? Come on. So, my plan is to literally make a potato of a car. Like, literally, literally, literally. So, let me run you down a little bit about what happens here. Bound boxes, once you've modeled your 3D car, determine how big your vehicle is. So, if we just move this here, we are going to go in and we are going to edit some of these bound boxes. So this one is the big one. This is going to be absolutely tiny. And then move it into place. Then this one, scale it down. This one is for like passenger room. Uh, yeah, that looks good. That's a passenger size. And that could just go on top of like, you know what? Now nah, passengers sit in the middle of a car. This is where the engine goes. So we'll just grab that, bring that over here. This is your luggage space. Absolutely tiny. Yep. If this car isn't light, I am going to absolutely chuck a hissy fit. The last thing we need to do is we need to go in and give this thing some colors. So add a new material, we'll make this regular paint, and then we'll select some of the inside here to make that like the eye of the potato that's like extra dark than the rest. And if you're wondering, yes, I did use potatoes as reference images for making this, but uh, I didn't try too hard. This is gonna be a new one. This is going to be like two-tone paint. There we go. Good. That's our potato of a car. Literally a potato. Let's join them together. And now, let's export this. Select all objects. This is a crash course as well, if you haven't quite figured out what I'm doing here. Normally, we're gonna go faces, tangent spaces, no leaf bones. Now, this won't have any morphing in it, unfortunately, but it's what we're going with. Now, we're gonna create a new mod. We're gonna call this potato. Do I know how to spell potato? I don't think I do. Uh, this is gonna be by me. Then the description is gonna be potato and create mod import the new thing that we just made skeletal mesh make sure that's clear I, I don't know what these are meant to be i just know that i have them set so just look over what i've done and then make sure that yours are exactly the same <laughs> this is a shitty tutorial i know but yeah, you should be able to figure it out from this. If not, look up hard rooster, I think it is, yeah. We're gonna go here, we're gonna go camso, body variant preview data. If you have any questions about this, don't ask me. <laughs> ask hard rooster, or watch hard rooster's video on it. I'll put a link to hard rooster's video. He goes into it a lot better than what I'm doing. Bring up the potato, put the potato in there, generate a few of these little doodads, name this potato. This is, Eh, we'll make it a hatchback so then it can be considered nice and light. Year will be 2020. Doors, this will have one door. Maximum seat rows one is release ready. Seat options one. Engine placement, we're gonna have front engine. Wheelbase, okay, let's go ahead and save everything. Control O. God, these guys are gonna get such a fright when I have released like a one kilogram car. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, shit, no, hold on, what do we want to do? We want to hit play, A, underscore, B, blutility, potato, put that in there, load body. Oh, boys, it is happening. Did you, did you ever think that I would stoop so low? Well, I have. <laughs> and now we're going to try to line up some of our suspension stuff. Once again, if you have any questions, go watch the other video from that guy that does things. I am so good at the English and speaking and stuff. I am a great candidate for being a YouTuber. Now we're gonna make this a really small car. Like we're gonna make it one meter long, which should be 100, I believe, because this is in centimeters if I am correct. That is a very short car. Max wheel diameter. Uh, let's just go with something I know. Make this as low as, I don't know, 20. Let's make this a nine inch wheel default tire width. 65, I think, is what we should go with. Uh, coefficient of drag, 0 0.01. Obviously, because we need really good fuel efficiency. There we go. Let's save. Let's load body. Update and save. Uh, now, I don't know how wide to make this. I kind of want to make it super duper wide, but I also want to have a very light car. So we're going to make the track width not particularly big. I think if we go with something like that, 
it should be fine. I'm just worried that it'll break the steering when it gets into beam NG. So 74 should be good for now. Our tires are too small. Or we can make the wheels smaller. Well, that doesn't really work, does it? Seven inch wheels. I mean, sure, this could be like a golf cart type thing. 30, there we go. Okay, save, load body, update and save. We are good, everything is good. Save all, and now we're going to share the mod. Potato! And select folder. All right, this is gonna take, I don't know, five minutes? Sweet, done. Okay, let's go grab our mod, which will be potato. I'm gonna copy this, then I've got this hotbar already, but Steam Library, Steam Apps, Common, Automation, UE, whatever that is, Automation Game and Mods, you're just gonna paste it in here. Now, when you want to launch the game, you're going to launch it and you're gonna launch with no launcher. Now, let's go ahead and find our new car body. Woo, there it is, one meter long. This thing is tiny. All right, this is gonna be carbon fiber, obviously, because this potato needs to be minuscule. And then it's gonna be a monocoque, more carbon fiber, front transverse, then push rod on the rear for the extra super duper light. Increase that quality because we are going to have ourselves a good time. Then an inline three, magnesium, make it as small as possible. And unfortunately, I have made the engine bay too small. The engine bay is too long, which means it needs to be wider and X is width. So we're gonna make this like, say, 25. Let's try again. You know what? A flat four fits. We'll go with a flat four. So magnesium. Push rod is push rod lighter. I think push rod, oh no, no, heads weigh nothing. We're gonna go with ALSI because I believe that is lighter. Yes, the absolute lightest of lightest, highest of qualities. Is there a weight to any of this? No, there is not. Weight to this? Yes, there is. That is lighter, that is lighter. Which one is lightest? Long tubular. Make that as small as possible. No cat, no mufflers. We are making it with our car, except the wheels seem to be bugged out. Are they inside out? I think they might be. <laughs> Move on for now. I'm gonna go with a front wheel drive. Which one is lightest? Manual. I'm assuming four speed. Increase that top speed. These all weigh exactly the same, so we're gonna go with a viscous LSD. It doesn't really matter what we got. Radials. Wait, hold on. Uh, I wonder if cross flies are lighter. Well, they're very, all very small. All minus five kilograms. Well, that's no good. We're gonna have to actually fix that. And it seems... Yes, we can make our wheels a bit narrower. In fact, we can bug it out somehow? What on earth? What is that? Are our wheels inverse right now? What the heck is happening? I'm so confused. I don't know what's happening. Oh, okay. Yep, no, that was my bad. Okay, hopefully this is good. Let's go with fixtures and try to fit on smaller wheels. No, they all seem to have the same offset. Bugger. Oh, wait, no. They don't have a massive amount of offset. Great, all right, let's uh, move on from that. We're gonna go with carbon fiber, max quality. Carbon ceramics, oh, they all weigh nothing, so we're just gonna go with a one piston, carbon ceramic, one piston, nothing matters. Then increase that quality. Aerodynamics, they all weigh something, so nothing. Increase that quality, why? Well, because I may as well. Front tires blew out, try increasing the tire size. Big yikes. Our weight is 183 kilograms. Wait, wait, what was there? Weight, 280 pounds. Frick, I don't think I can get that light with this one. Oh, it seems my cheating was for naught. Oh wait, hold on, safety minus. Duh, damn it, it's still too heavy. Well, let's paint it for now. So we got uh, some paint here, right? Uh, what is a potato color? It looks like a peeled potato. Yes, much better, there we go. That is potato indeed. I like this except for the fact that our weight is too high. Oh, our tires aren't blowing out anymore, awesome. Cool. Let's have a look. 150. How is that car so light? It must be absolutely minuscule. I might have to make my car smaller again. It seems that it lied. Push rod is lighter. But now what? I've got I've got nothing left in my tank. The car is too small. It is. Oh my! Look how small that is. I might have to go back and make another version of this car to make it even smaller. This is. Bonkers. Two hours later. All right. If this doesn't solve the issue, then I don't know what the fuck will. Ah! God damn it! If I don't have big front tires, the car becomes too. Th oh, and it still weighs too much. How is it weighing so much? If I make it any narrower, the car bugs out, and I can't have a freaking engine in it. What is going on? Here's the PLP 50 body. It's 800 wide and 900 long. 800 by 900. I am smaller in every way. Okay, it must be the size of the model. 
All right, time to try this again. Bam, 113.5 kilograms. I also found something else out, something very peculiar. Let me just go over here to engine. You see here, yeah, we've got the quality spam. A low cam profile, a low quality on head was lighter. You want to know what else? Apparently having a low compression ratio also makes it lighter. Don't ask me. Now we're down to 12.9, but also high quality, but then like really low numbers here, really low RPM and single barrel eco set to race is the lightest. This is bonkers. Also low quality and low size, this is as light as it gets. So we have done everything that is required to meet the limitations for lightest car. 248 pounds. Yes, I outdo you all. Yes, I am the good. I am, oh boy, yeah. And we're gonna increase our acceleration here by dropping our top speed a bit. So we can get down to like 67 se uh, seconds to 100. Now it just comes down to styling. Let's get that potato color again. Oh, that good old peeled potato look. Oh, it's so good. I love it. It just looks, it looks so much like a peeled potato and you've just taken the eyes out. It's so good. Let's move on. You know what? No, actually, I think the styling is done. There's nothing really to do. I could put a bit of a window on it. We're going to remove the chassis. Yeah. Oh, sh should we put a window on it? Like the wiener vehicle thingy? I don't know. That's maybe too much work. I just love how jank this car is. It's so good. Oh, that's, that's the goodness right there. And... This only comes at the cost of my morality because I am a cheating little shit. <laughs> Suck it, guys. I win. Oh, I didn't do the modding right. Now cutting away doesn't work properly. God damn it. Look at that. All problems solved. <laughs> oh, but it looks less jank now. I want a good thumbnail. Is that too much to ask for? Are we... Uh, do we go? I think we do the good now. Yes. Oh, look at that. We're down to 111.5. Yes. Okay. Our wheels don't look too jank. They're not blown out, are they? Good. Just the engine is underpowered. We can live with that. We've got ourselves a peeled potato. Oh, that's the perfect name. Potato Peel 50. Yes. You can see the engine under there. Oh, God. I want to take this over to... Oh, hold on. What does Test Track reckon? I want to say less than four minutes, because that's going to be a really slow car. Ooh, that's pretty bad. All right, let's take it over to BeamNG. We have to remove the chassis, though. Chassis. Off. Save. Exit. Yep. And let's go. Well, that didn't quite come out the way I was hoping, but I thought I would place it next to another car to show you the sheer size of this car is absolutely minuscule. Can I still drive it with its front wheels? Yes, I can. We are driving. <laughs> and our steering is actually functional, which I was actually surprised by. Oh God, I was expecting it to be really, really bad because of the whole, uh, when you have a really narrow car, then it doesn't work right. Oh God, oh no, no, what? Oh, okay, no, we've saved, no, we've saved, go, go. We, sa we, we've saved, we, oh god, just stop, okay, we've saved it, oh, no, okay, hold on, yeah, I, hold on, I, I've saved it, I've, oh, oh, okay, um, hmm, I, okay, come on, yep, and there we go, and we've saved it, oh, no, hold on, there, there we go, and, yes, okay, and we have saved it. And... Oh no, our steering is broken! How far will I make it over the jump? Make it! Make it! Come on! <laughs> Come on! Come on! Oh, so close! So close! Make it! Yes! <laughs> well, needless to say, this has caused a bit of an issue. Hey, our meshing has actually come out pretty good. The only problem is, is our rear wheels keep breaking off. Oh my god! It actually weighs less in BMNG at 95.73 kilos. Welcome to Potato Car V2. Very, very excited little car. This thing is just raring to go. All right, so let's give it what it wants and full mains. All right, now we get to see what this thing does jumping off of jump wrap. Oh, engine keeps st starving of oil. That's a new one. So all I did, oh God. Huh, 
Well, that's not what I was expecting. It seems that refreshing the car doesn't fix that oil starvation issue. The thing about the mod was apparently I needed to have this thing be super duper wide. So we're gonna blow the engine. Engine is about to blow. It's gonna blow. It's, it's not actually blowing. Torque reduced, but there we go. It blew just as we're about to jump. And oh, we didn't actually make it that far. Now let's see if Neological could do a better jump than that the next time he picks up one of my mods. And it, yeah, if he shouted me out, you know, he help out a fellow creator. But now what we really have got to do today, and that's do our lap of Friday Pike Day. This one is going to take quite some time. Uh, I think the game is bugged out. I can't seem to hit yes. Oh. Okay? I, I didn't do this. This came up on its own. I don't know what's happening. G goodbye. Can I? Oh, what the frick is that? Let's give it a try, shall we? I think this is going to be an absolute beast. Look at us go, bro. Look at us go. Oh, this is... This is going to be pretty bad. I'm probably going to have to fast forward through pretty much the entire thing of this. This is just not what you'd normally expect from this sort of thing. Oh dear, you're so slow. <laughs> we finally reached corner one. Oh dear. You know what? Yeah, we're just going to fast forward through pretty much this entire thing. Jesus. No! What? What? It, my... My engine is bro- It ran out of oil? Oh no! Uh, oh god. Um, uh, let's go do some fixing then, I suppose. Well, it can't overheat if there's no engine thermals. That seems to have fixed our issue. Brum, brum, bitches, yay! Voiceover time! Well, I hope you guys have enjoyed this up to this point. Once again, I would like to ask if you guys like this sort of potato-based content or non-potato-based content, I would like you to subscribe. Oh god, this car was quite tricky to get up here. You see that I went off a little bit there, but that's fine. I over-revved it at some point as well. I can't remember when that happens. It'll happen in the future. But by god, this was excruciating. Basically, I had to keep the thing in second gear the entire way up because third gear was just too long. So most of the time, 46 kilometers an hour, which is this much miles per hour, was just basically the limit, the majority of the way up. And there's the over rev as well, because I actually switched uh, to the wrong gear. Uh, but I'm going to do you a favor. We're just going to watch a little bit more until we get to the halfway point, which is about to come up, because for the first time in a very long time, I was able to go up into third gear. But I'm going to save you the rest of this monotony, and we're going to speed right up towards the end. I've got a few times into fourth. A lot of that was stunted by that off that I just had then. I bent the rear wheel in, and that made it really hard to control. I considered for a split second restarting, and <laughs> that nosy I just did then is still really funny. But yeah, no, that it was only a fleeting one to do. But as you can see, I'm into like the 20 something minutes now and I was tired of this. I was so bored. I just wanted to be over second to last hairpin. We're coming up here in one of the final straights, really long last hairpin and there we go. Honestly, wait, what the hell is going on? Um, there seems to be some, let's say, issues with BeamNG at the moment. But oh my god, I thought this was going to be a fun little thing at the beginning, but now it's all, like, <laughs> grating on me so badly. Where's all my options? What is going on? BeamNG devs, what the heck happened? But for now, I'll catch you next time. Goodbye.